Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Good morning to you all, wherever you're hearing the sound of my voice. How you are doing this morning? I trust God. I know every one of you are bouncing in the Lord to the glory of His holy name. I'm here this morning to encourage you to begin your day with Christ. Begin your day with Christ this morning so that your hearts will be filled with joy. Begin your day this morning with Christ so that the Holy Spirit will take full center stage of everything that concerns you. Wherever you are, I want you to go ahead and appreciate God, celebrate Him for who He is, magnify His name by the special grace of God. Today happened to be the 30th of the month of January. A lot of people started with you. At this point in time, they are nowhere to be found. Celebrate the name of the Most High God for His grace. He has never leave you nor forsake you. You went to bed yesterday night and you woke up this morning. Appreciate Him because they deserve it. Magnify His name. Exalt His holy name. Thank Him for His angels that He released the word over you while you were sleeping. While you were sleeping, the enemy came in one way and he opened seven ways for them to flee. Give glory to his name. My God, we thank you this morning, Lord. We are super excited. Mm. We are grateful. Oh. Amen. Quickly, if you are there with your Bible, turn with me to the book of Psalm 103, verse 1 to 5. And the topic of my message this morning is titled, Be Grateful to God. Be Grateful to God. When we talk about grateful, it means to show an appreciation for something done or received. I've come to encourage you this morning to appreciate God for all that you have received for him. Appreciate him for all that he has done for you. Appreciate him because by his grace, if you want to number the things he has done for you, you will run out of number. So appreciate him this morning. Let's see what the book of Psalm 103, 1 to 5 says. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse 2 said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, 
and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? Who crowns you with lovely kindness and tender mercies? Father the Lazarus, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the ego. Hallelujah. This God is wonderful. Ah, my Yatosi Bahanda. Appreciate him. Be grateful to God for all that he has done. Be grateful to him for his protection, his guidance towards your life. The Bible said, forget not all, no some, his benefit. At times as a charge of God, if you don't sit down to rewind yourself back where you are coming from, it will be as if you are misusing the grace. If you don't remind yourself at times how many times God has saved you, how many times he has delivered you, you will get carried away. The Bible said, forget not all his benefits. I know that you that is hearing the sound of my voice, you are aware. You've watched from the television a lot of people who have gone to their grave. And some of these people, they prayed more than you. Some of them live right more than you. But God permitted them to return back to him for reason best known to him. So you that is alive this morning, appreciate him. Be grateful to God. Be grateful for, to him. For how far he has been delivering you from destruction. Do you know there are many times the enemy has tried to make sure that your enemy go down to the grave. But God did not allow it to happen. Appreciate him for many times that you felt sick. And at times you call it little headache, little stomach pain. And you just took Panadol and you are here, you felt that it's just so easy. My sister, my brothers in Christ, that little headache you call it, that minor stomach pain has actually taken someone to the grave. It's not because of the drugs that you took, that, he, that you were healed, but because God intervened. The hand of God is stretched over you. That is everything you will heal. So magnify his name this morning. Be grateful to him. Be grateful to him. The Bible says he satisfies your mouth with good things. There are bad things, but God decided to satisfy your mouth with good things. So wherever you are, you are alive. You are hearing the sound of my voice. I want you to jump up on your feet and give glory to God this morning. Don't wake up this Sunday morning and start walking around and say, I don't know, maybe probably I will go to church today or start complaining. Those in the grave can no longer complain. This is the day that God has made. I've come to encourage you to begin your day with Christ by being grateful to him. Today is the 30th. By the grace of God, tomorrow is the last day. And we are crossing over to the month of February. So when you appreciate him more and more for all that he has done for you, you will provoke him to do more for you. You will provoke him to place your enemies in a position where they belong. You will provoke him to open strength doors. You will provoke him and you will see breakthrough manifesting in your life. So I encourage you, be grateful to God. Always, not sometimes, in any circumstances you're facing, be grateful to God because he knows why. My shoulders, faithful father, we are grateful to you this morning. Your grace has sustained us. In this very hour, we are not taking it for granted. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for the 30th of the month of January. Thank you by your grace. We will cross over to the month of February in good health. Blessed be your name, Father. Father, I pray for everyone hearing the sound of my voice. I release the grace for them to stand up this morning 
and go to church and get in there. None of you will be the hearer alone, but also the doer of God's word in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning that God Almighty will manifest his greatness through the genuine men of God that he has assigned to minister to each and every one today in the name of Jesus. As many that will go to services today with one sickness or the other, the healing power of God will locate you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare the remaining hours of today, the remaining one day of this month, last minute temptation will not hit you. The satanic plans against your life that has been programmed for the last minute. By the mercy of God, you shall escape there. In the name of Jesus, your children are protected. Your husband, your wife are protected. In the name of Jesus. The bottom blessing that God has bestowed for you will locate you. And you will live to testify. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father, for in Jesus' name I pray this morning. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I wish every one of you a joyful last Sunday of the month of January. Wow. Please, I encourage you. Don't allow anything to make you step back today from going to church. Rise up from your feet. Go and celebrate the grace of God with other brethren. And while you're going, make sure that you don't get there late. As you do, you will need to testify. God bless you. I love every one of you. Bye for now.